So maybe you feel pretty good because you are consistent about a training workshop that you do or a topic, maybe once every six months, once, once a year, what have you. What I'm suggesting to you is ask yourself, why are you doing it? Is it just to check it off on a box? Or are you really trying to measure and impact something? You might get it done once every six months. I, I would have to say I would push back on that a little bit. But what would happen if you built on top of that, maybe a few mini-series, maybe a case study that the group does homework around in between a workshop? The other thing is that if you do have good retention with the target audience, you're delivering the same material. So what are you doing different to level up? So again, the series creates inclusion. It creates conversation. And the more of those you can have, obviously the intention continues to go up. So listen, you're able to do the workshops, hopefully because you have the re retention. Well, the only way that you're going to retain people is to keep feeding them something new. I mean, who wants to eat grilled cheese and tomato soup all day long? I mean, I love it. I love pizza too, but I don't want the same thing all day long. So the purpose of the series is to build on it and, and to keep the growth going, which is what talent development is versus management. One-offs or management. I'm honing you in and I'm only going to manage you to this, and development opens it up. It opens up the what if. So when we open up the what if, we open up the possibilities, we open up the solutions, we open up all the opportunities that are around us that quite frankly we just don't connect to because we get tied into the same old, same old. We walk in, we put our personal things down when we come to work, we turn on our computer, we go through our emails, and the goal is to get us out of that, to get us have fun at work and want to be at work and to want to work with others and that causes the inclusion and the retention and, and all of those positive things. So if, again, if that makes sense to you, perhaps you should call me, premierreport.com.